Hi, I know it's been a while, but since we are trying to avoid the coronavirus, I wanted to share with you some of the masks that I designed with you. I know it's been a lot of masks um, on the internet and tutorials and stuff, but I just wanted to share my own with you. So in that way, you have even more choices. And I know there's a lot of choices out there. Anyways, um, I'm going to show you this one here, which have a filter pocket. Um, here's the pocket it's kind of like a pillowcase pocket and you can put the filter inside and this is the one that I'm gonna show you oops I'm gonna show you on this tutorial and this is the elastic band and you will see that there's different modes or ways that you can put the elastic band I'm gonna show you that in the tutorial too and here is the first one that I made and this one have fleece inside that's why it's kind of like thick like this and it doesn't have any pockets and again different elastic as you cannot find these elastics these are like headbands from uh, Dollar Tree the long ones and this one is good like for allergies or to protect yourself from dust and stuff like that but the reason I made this mask right here is because the virus, the coronavirus and other viruses are really tiny microscopic uh, and they can penetrate the cloth and that's the reason I did this one because the cloth or a fabric that I'm using here is a non-woven fabric which help because it's kind of fused together it helps avoid penetrating of the virus I don't know how much so but it can help maybe a little and that's what is recommended non-woven uh, fabric so it does help a little and the third one that I did which I also want to share the tutorial later and as you notice this one have the different elastic I'm gonna put them all in a second they have the uh, different elastic and I got this from Dollar Tree they're goggles elastic as you can see and the cool thing about this is you can adjust them okay so now um, and this one also have the pocket you see the filter sticking out and see the filters right here and then you just put it in in here and I'll show the tutorial later and you pinch and then there you have it with the filter protected and this one you put like this oh oops my bad <laughs> this one you just grab both let me loosen it a little bit grab both um, and then tie it in the bag. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, and I'm really pulling my hair right now. And this is how it looks. I didn't put a metal part or anything. If you tie it very tight, it's pretty tight on the sides, I guess. Okay, um, oh gosh, let me take my glasses again and rip some of my hair off. Oh, Jesus, like that. Um, this is the first one that I did. Um, this is how it looks on the side. Um, it's pretty, pretty tight in there. And this is the last one, the one that you're going to see the tutorial on. You will learn how to do the pattern. As you can see, when I did this one, I didn't uh, curve it enough. So when you do it, remember to curve it a little bit more. So it, you can see better. You can still see through, you know, like, but if you want a more curve, you can do that too. So oh, there. So, okay, without taking more of your time, let's start. We will need fabric, cotton fabric, 
you can use any different colors also will need elastic or this elastic for goggles that I found at Dollar Tree I also found at Dollar Tree these headbands that can work too if you cannot find elastic um, scissors pins also thread you can use your sewing machine if you don't have any you can use needles and this material here is only fun is polypropylene and it's a non weave a fabric that is water resistant it helps uh, avoiding uh, viruses uh, to go through I don't know how effective it is but it can help a little ruler uh, measuring tape and we're gonna measure this um, paper 8.5 inches by 12 inches or 21.5 centimeters by 30.5 centimeters now we're gonna fold that paper and we're gonna take some measurements I'm gonna take it in centimeters so it's easier four centimeters and 10 centimeters in here now we're going to do another measurement and it'll be four centimeters also okay and if you want to do it all the way from the top to the bottom it will be 14 centimeters here and in here will be 18 centimeters okay so now we're going to take another measurement or first we're going to do an horizontal line and cut it up and now we're going to take a measurement in here to make some marks that's five centimeters um, from the other side to that side 4.5 centimeters and those arrows indicate how I'm measuring it okay and that one will be uh, the same measurements that you see on the bottom 5 and 4.5 centimeters okay now we're going to make a measurement here will be 10 centimeters and that's the direction I'm measuring and here we're going to do the vertical lines on the paper which help us um, draw the pattern okay and now we're going to measure on that vertical line 3.3 centimeters and the same thing we're going to do at the bottom it will be also 3.3 centimeters right measure from bottom to top right but you have to verify like what I'm doing right here because you can, sometimes you can make mistakes like I did and if you can see the bottom measurement is kind of too short so I verified and of course I did measure wrong so that was wrong so it's 3.3 centimeters okay so be careful with that and now <laughs> that was another mark that I did wrongly we're gonna do a curve from the edge to that point or mark that say 3.3 centimeters here I did the curve wrong I did it to the other side so let's redo that curve the curve goes from the edge where it say 10 centimeters to that point that say 3.3 centimeters okay and we're gonna do the same thing and from that point the 3.3 centimeters we're gonna do another line to the 4.5 to the edge right that and we'll do the same thing at the top okay see that curve like that okay when you do this top curve remember that's the curve that's going right under your eye so you can do a more pronounced curve okay now we're going to do the front part the one that goes like on nose and mouth and the center of the face and that curve is need to be a little bit more curved at war so your nose can fit better and do it from the edge of the paper to that point that I'm going to show in a second to the 4.5 centimeter mark like you see right here and now from the other one the 4.5 mark at the bottom you go up to 10 and that's the part of the sheen and it can be a little bit more inclined and that part where the 10 is need to be kind of flat so it wouldn't be that pointy on front of your face and now I just darken the line so you can see better and it'd be easier to cut and in there too okay and there but remember that area under the eye you can do it a little bit more pronounced because after I did this pattern I noticed that it needed to be a little bit more curved and this you have your pattern completed this is the nose area 
and on the bottom is the chin area okay now we cut it out this other part will be used for the filter and this part will be used to make the pattern for our mask okay so now we want to cut two of these okay fold the fabric and cut them and there you go and then you fold in the top part if you fold the top part it will be like the pocket for the bottom part and if you um, fold the top part it will be the pocket for the bottom part so you fold you cut two of each ones okay and these are the inside for the inside liner where the pocket will be made of okay so now we have two and two and this is how the pocket will look like a pillowcase pocket okay now we're gonna sew that curved part in all the pieces the inside liner and the outside of fabric okay and the top part and the bottom part of the liner for the inside that curved part as you can see is already curved and now we're gonna fold it uh, first we open the seam pin it because we wanted to sew the seam open and we pin it with pins <laughs> and then we fold it around like one four of an inch to the inside there and we're going to do this in both the top part of the pocket and the bottom part of the pocket as you can see right here okay and we are done right uh, we do see this is how it looks and remember in the curved part make those cuts so when you flip it to the right side uh, the curve will look nice okay and we open both uh, seams it's already cut and then we'll put see we cut all the cuts for the other one now the pocket will look like this you put one on top of the other and put the inside part facing the or the right side part facing the right side part of the other part you see how i put the pocket i put it i'm um, open the seam and pin it against the other side because we wanted to have it open the seam seam with seam so be matched together and you see how i put the pocket the top part and of the nose will be all over the side so right now the nose is on the bottom right and the top part that you see here is the sheen so when you arrange it remember to put pins so the fabric doesn't move when you're sewing and you can sew all the parts the way they should be right um anyway so the pocket will be easier if you put it like this you'll see at the end if you want to verify so after everything is spin up you can sew all the way around right because this will be like a pillow cover uh, pocket so there it is and now we're ready to sew all the way around okay so you just do it and make sure you gather all the fabric in the place that it should be and make sure you made that curve around the eye and the top of the nose and actually this i think this is a part of the sheen okay and we are almost done as you can see here be careful with the pins uh, and just take the pins as you sew all the way around it okay and we almost done and then we're gonna put in like after we have done with this we're gonna turn it inside out or right side out actually and uh, make sure you do reinforcement you don't need to leave a hole or a part on so because you can turn it right side out through that pocket that we made with the two liners right okay and oh jesus and i think we are done now and uh, we cut all the edges or corners i say and all those parts that are curved we also do those v cuts on them 
so they can open nicely the curve will look nicely okay and you can also put the elastic zone uh, in a step before this or you can make a, a pocket to make the elastic which I prefer because in that way if you have to replace the elastic or fix the elastic you can do it without having to sew it onto the side of the mask okay so now we have it right side up and this is how it looks but we're gonna do the pocket which I think I prefer because you know you can put all type of elastic bands in there you can use the elastic headbands around the head or you can do the part that you put only on your ear and this is how it looks now we fold and make another pocket for the elastic this way just a straight stitch and make sure you reinforce on the edges we cut and we got it done that's it now we're gonna work on the filter which was that other part after we fold the fabric we just cut it and this is the polypropylene which is a very good fabric um, that also being used sometimes for even filters and stuff so you can use one or two and then we fold it we do some pleats and make sure it's about the side of the side of the mask and we just sew it there do the pleats you can measure them or you can do it just estimated by eye and fold it in this side and the other side here we're almost done and reinforce it cut it and there we have one side on and now we're going to do the other side which it be easier because once the pleats are on one side it's easier to do the other one so we sew it there and we are done and now we just put it inside the fabric this way we kind of open it push it into the edges like the top uh, where the nose goes and the chin goes and kind of open the accordion shape uh, filter make sure you have it all the way around and the way it will protect you better and this is how it looks but I'm gonna show you another type of filter that you can do that maybe fit better with this mask okay uh, the other one fits good on here you see how uh, the size set and you put it like that and make like a curve right and it's folding half you want to fold it again and make that curve there so they'll be all the same and now you want to pleat the top part and the bottom part like this right and you just pleat it like I was saying the other filter right and you can use it for the accordion mask, the ones that are squares, and that works pretty good. But I find out that this filter works better for this kind of mask, the ones that are kind of custom fit. So now you're going to sew it there with the pleats. No need to measure, but if you want to measure, I will show in another video how to measure it, more or less. But here, I just did it by eye. So you can do it whatever way you feel more comfortable with. So, yes. And here we are almost done another stitch a straight stitch reinforce it and this time i use a black uh, thread but you can use white too so it'd be looking a little bit nicer cut it and when you kind of open the pleats you see you have a little more round shape and it will fit perfectly inside your mask and this one you put it here the parts that are stitched or the and um, pleats they go to the nose and the chin okay that part that i point right now is the nose part you see yeah you see the pocket kind of go that way uh the opening go towards the mouth and then you see there <laughs> it's right against the edge because you want that so you have better coverage and that part is the chin the, where the opening is okay make sure it's all in there because you want the best protection and there you got it and your mask is done now we're gonna put the elastic let's start first with this one and then we have the head wraps too so for the goggles and uh, elastic that you can find at Dollar Tree you can see it's kind of stretchy too and uh, you can use a uh, bobby pin a large one and then put it through it there's also the loop turner which is that uh, it's a metallic tool 
but a bobby pin works just fine and remember the part of the top of the nose you just loop it like that and the part that gonna be adjustable is the part that get, goes against the neck and to pass it through you have to push the little button to open the holes I don't know if you can see here because it was kind of difficult to put it on the camera and then you pass the other one through it and every time you have to adjust it you just press that button and adjust it and it's very snugly fit and here for the headband you just cut that metal part you can use a one and cut it in half but it is too tight where you may need more than one and this one is because you can just knot it and put it in the see this one just put it in half but remember if you need a bigger one just use two here you knot it put it like that and then slip the knot into the pocket so you cannot see it and it's done here and your mask is completely done and you're ready to be a little bit pro more protective when you go outside so that's it well i hope you like this video and uh, remember always to be careful even when you're wearing your mask because you know it's not 100 percent effective so be careful uh, when you're around other people remember like in the surfaces the video can survive like in cardboard up to 24 hours in plastic it can survive up to uh, three days and uh, it also have it can be on the air like for a couple of hours like in aerial aerosol aerosol anyway it can be in the air like for two or three hours so be always safe and practice social distancing if you can just stay in quarantine if you have to go so just be careful when you are around people and stay safe anyway so that's it uh, if you like this video like it if you want others to learn how to do it and they're interested share it and if you like to see more videos like this one and see um, the other tutorials that possibly i'm going to post soon not yet because i'm working on them uh, well click on the link and subscribe so that's it a hug stay safe and take care ciao